hi guys it's your girl lizzie welcome back to my channel please subscribe share like and watch my previous videos if you're just tuning in for the first time so i did promise you guys in my previous video that i was gonna do a part b of the video i did and the picture by my right was gotten from instagram i do hope that you guys enjoyed this look and do not fail to subscribe share and comment in the comment section i love you all so much so for this particular gilet the first thing i did was to make about five pleats and then i placed the gilet on my head the rule for this particular gilet is 60 40 so one hand of the gilet has to be really longer than the other hand of the gilet so the 60 part of the gilet is the one coming from the back of your head to the middle and towards the other side of your head so I'm just trying to make pleats right now. Guys, if you've not watched my videos on how to make pleats or any of my ghillie videos at all, please do that. Because it's really going to help you, it's going to guide you on how to tie ghillie. And I do promise you all that you're going to enjoy it. While making your pleats, you have to make sure that you do not lose any so that your ghillie comes out really nice and beautiful. I actually call them folds sometimes because you're just trying to create very nice um, lines with your hands. If you want to get this standing effect in any of your um, when you're tying your guinea, if you want to get this standing effect, you have to make sure that you're making use of your both hands. So one hand picks the guinea and the other holds the guinea so that it doesn't unravel. So when you're done, you have to pin it so that you're sure that your guinea is secured and it doesn't unravel. Maybe when you're trying to dance for any occasion at all. So the next thing I did was to twist my gilly, take it towards the back and pin it. So here is the style of the gilly. If you want to get this effect also, you have to bend your pleated side of your gilly. You have to bend it a little bit and pin it. And as you can see, the gilly is already becoming very beautiful. So I'm just going to take the 40 part of my gilly, take it towards the back and make pleats. While making your gilly, you have to keep adjusting and adjusting until you get that very beautiful and sleek look that you want. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope that this video was helpful. Please, if it was, do not fail to thumbs me up and do not fail to share, subscribe and um, like. I want to see you all in the comment section, guys. And I just can't wait for... I just can't wait to show you my next video is going to be the bomb and you're really going to love it. So stay tuned and be blessed. See you all in my next video. I love you all so much. Thank you all. Bye-bye.